Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Today I'm gonna talk about your pump, your water pump, and hopefully help you with a few troubleshooting issues that you may have. So um, I cleaned my garden about uh, maybe a month or so ago, maybe a little longer. Someone on Instagram actually uh, sent me a message and asked after he saw my video, um, asked about the pump. He said that he had just done a cleaning and his pump stopped working. And, you know, I really didn't have any answers aside from just telling him to call tech support. Not long after, I had the same issue. So I was able to get help through, from tech support. They walked me through the steps of uh, what to do. There's there's kind of a simple flow chart um, that kind of has you um, check off a few items. Like, okay, if this is happening, then do this one. And if it was this, then go there, you know, kind of, um, I believe it's a flow chart, but you, you get what I'm saying. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it. And that is one thing that I did not do when I did do my deep clean. I didn't clean the water pump. That's always going to be a good practice to, um, adhere to is cleaning your pump. Um, especially if you hear a loud, a, now, a loud noise that could indicate that it's like a water bubble caught into it. Um, it could also mean that your hoses may be clogged. So there's just, just a few things that you can do. Um, to, to help remedy that without you panicking and thinking, oh my God, my pump is not working and it's um, defective. Um, nine times out of 10, it's not. And I want to uh, address the elephant in the room, my light that's doing this. The reservoir is full, but I just kind of had this sitting here so it wasn't sitting correctly. So uh, the um, the sensor is not reading very well right now because it's, it's user error. So just so you know, but um, it should be reading correctly. So. I'm going to take you guys through the steps of how to get your water pump cleaned and hopefully get things back up and running. So stay tuned. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do is clean out as much junk as you can. As you can see, I've got a lot of junk under here. You want to unplug your pump. So we're gonna do that now. Unplug this guy, and you see the cord it's right there. Then you're gonna come over here, take your top off, and when you do that, keep in mind that when your pump isn't running, your reservoir water fills back up. So you're gonna wanna be mindful of that and um, make sure that you don't spill anything and make a big mess. So you're gonna release this from the lip, okay? And clearly I have residue here because the nutrients have just been sitting down here and not cycling through the, the roots. So if you can, very gently pull it out again, your reservoir is going to be full, so you don't want to pull it out too um, far because you can hurt yourself or just make a ginormous mess, which is not cool. So you're going to want to release the hose. And I suggest that you hold it tight. Now it does take elbow grease. There you go. So the hose has been released right here. Again, I've got a lot of residue and buildup from my nutrients. This is my pump right here. And I'm gonna take this into the other room. I'm going to take it apart, give it a nice clean, put it back, put it in water and see that it works and that will be up and running. Another thing that I want you to do is take note when you're taking it out, because you may forget um, where everything goes, right? So we have the pump strapped in here. The cord side is where this little, I think it's like one of those plastic twisty ties, like those really tough ones. It's on this side. Keeping in mind that the tube goes here and that goes from the water pump on into your garden. So again, just making sure that every, that you see where everything is, you make note, maybe take a picture of it. Make a note of how everything looks as you're taking it apart or before you take it apart so you know how to put it all back together. So we're gonna take this in the kitchen, unhook it, 
give it a nice good clean, get it back in here and get it back up and running. All right, so what you're gonna need from this is, I stole this from my husband, so, oh, this is cute. It's like a little Swiss Army knife. <laughs> so basically, you're just gonna slide it on out. Again, remembering the direction that it was initially in, remember the, the butt goes up against this, right? Comes out this way, but I'll show you. Keep a dry paper towel with you if you can because this gets a little wet and uh, can be challenging. So you're gonna want to get a set of pliers. Turn it, okay? And this here is the mechanism. This is the magnet here. Maybe use the pliers to pull it out. Okay. All right, so yeah, you can't see in there, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this um, pipe cleaner to clean around. If you have, like even if you have a water pick, that might be helpful. Make sure this little gasket here is on correctly or that it's in the grooves. Oops, you don't wanna let that fall out. Looks like a little rubber band, like a hair band, but I'm sure a lot of men are losing their mind with me saying that. <laughs> it's a gasket, or maybe not just men, but anybody who's um, mechanically challenged or not unchallenged. <laughs> but um, as you can see, I'm the, I'm the gal that has to say righty tighty lefty loosey as I'm doing things, so um, anybody can do this, so don't feel bad. Alrighty, so I'm gonna put this back in here. And as, you, like, as I mentioned, it was a magnet and went right on in, clipped right on in. Again, put this back, ensuring that your gasket is nice and tight on there so that it'll seal it well. As you're doing this, make sure you're grabbing it around the hexagon portion and not on this, uh, the tube part you don't want to damage that that's where your hose goes there we go all right nice and firm i don't want to tighten it too much okay so while i'm at it i'm just gonna give the cord a nice good wipe down it had a little bit of that gunk on it i'm also going to clean this off while i'm at it again there you've got that that residue from the uh, the nutrients just sitting there. Unfortunately, the plants haven't been getting it, but that's why you wanna act on this pretty quickly. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna feed the cord through here. Okay, lay it up against here. Oops, just kidding. Put it there and All right, guys, so <laughs> I had to take a little break away because as you can see, my um, little uh, twisty thing broke. So luckily, um, you can find these easily at a hardware store. I usually have them, but I cannot find it. So I luckily have this um, twist tie here um, that I use in my garden. Um, it's kind of like what you use on like, you know, what comes with like the bread bags of bread or whatever. So I'm gonna try to use that as a makeshift <laughs> in the meantime. And um, again, the beauty, beauty of this is, is that it's got a little cutter. So. There you go. So hopefully this will work. <laughs> I mean, it's not much thicker than this, so we'll see. So remember, it should go like this. So this is the part where the hose goes, where it goes up, feeds up into the, uh, the garden, okay? And I am just going to secure it as best I can. And I'm just gonna twist it <laughs> tightly. 
Again, this is just a temporary fix. I do not plan on leaving this. Um, because I have a feeling that the motion of the, the buzzing or the, the motion of the pump will most likely not allow that to stay that way, but we'll see. Cut that out. All right. <laughs> we'll see how that works, you know. Um, maybe I can secure it this way too to keep it on. I'm not sure. I'm just a little nervous that it's going to come off. Well, actually, that's pretty stable. So um, we shall see what happens. One thing I wanted to point out before um, I put this guy back in here. Now, keep in mind, when this pump is not running, the water is not going to the trays. So you obviously need to keep water in your trays um, until you're able to get your pump fixed. So I've been told before that using a, um, a cork from your wine bottle will work, but I find, and I'm gonna go show you why that doesn't work for me. Now I've heard a couple people say to uh, use uh, corks from your wine bottles. Um, you know, these guys are fairly big, obviously this is champagne, that's not gonna work. <laughs> so um, nix that. Uh, you'll see that they are pretty large whereas the hole going into your trays is a bit smaller than these. Now, you know, just short of trying to trim these down, which is going to be stressful enough because you're freaking out already about your poor little um, plants not getting the water, I was able to improvise and make things work. This is one of those reusable wine bottle corks. It's, um, you know, like a silicone material, but it's cool because it's got these little ridges here and so it's it's tapered so it's able to allow you to put it in at a particular depth that's going to fit again you can see that size is very different so it's not going to fit at least it doesn't fit in my trays maybe people who use wine bottles or wine corks either have um most likely i won't say either all the trays are the same size but most likely have just really teeny corks um maybe i'm drinking a lot i don't know <laughs> but so yeah so i use a reusable wine cork or um if you buy the little children's um medicine adapters uh the syringes this comes with it um and this is where you put it into the medicine bottle and then you use the syringe to pull out the amount that you need um, when it's got one of those quirky little tops so this works beautifully as well um, so if you're not a wine drinker you can get one of these and the, meta, um, the medicine syringe is also great uh, for you measuring out nutrients. Um, if you just want to do smaller amounts, even though the nutrient bottle has that um, measurement on it. But some people still have the, the little ones before they get to that point. And again, it's perfect for, for that. It's perfect for anything. So, um, But yeah, I just want to give you a tip on that. So um, if you're not able to get to your pump right away, um, you still have time. You can still preserve your plants in the meantime by using one of these guys. All right, we've got everything all set. So before I clip this back in, I am going to reach down in here and get my hose back on there. Oops. Now again, that takes a little bit of elbow grease. You want to make sure it's nice and tightly sealed. Okay. So you want to get that there and a little filter here and slowly dip that in there. Let's see. Put that on. Okay. I'm going to keep the wire or the cable on this side so it doesn't get submerged too much. And then you push downward and we're all set. All right. I'm going to put it down in there. Dry my hands because I'm working with <laughs> electricity. And I'm going to go ahead and plug this back up. And I hear a pump. There we go. And I hear water. 
going to my garden. Put this back in here. Hopefully. Ah, that's a piece of paper up there. Forgive that messy looking <laughs> thing. All right. So that's in there. Get my cable back in. All my little seed pods back in here. All that junk. Wipe up any spillage. All right, guys. And we have water. Our pump is working. It's getting water up there. It'll probably take a minute for it to get down here, but I do see a little bit of water down there, so that's good. That's a good sign. All right, guys, and there you have it. So again, um, if you ever find yourself in a situation after you've cleaned your, um, done a deep clean on your garden, changed out your water in the reservoir, and your pump stopped, or um, it just stopped working altogether, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the um, description below where Rise Gardens Tech Support uh, sends everybody to go to initially to look at uh, that little flow chart to determine if then, then this, or if that, then that um, kind of uh, workflow. But um, this, this worked for me, so this was great. Um, again, I'm gonna check back in about a half hour just to make sure that everything is going well. If it's not, I'll report back, but I'm pretty sure everything is gonna be fine and I can just go ahead and cut this video up. Um, anyway, I'm super pumped that I was able to save my babies um, and uh, hopefully provide you with a helpful video uh, that helps you if you find yourself in this situation. If it was, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you feel so inclined to do so. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. And while you're doing that, <laughs> one more step, go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you can be made aware of all of my future videos. And as always, here's wishing you guys great eats and happy gardening. Be kind to one another. Take care. Bye.